Now I want to show you something that I think is uh, really cool and it's further configuration for your code spaces. But this is kind of like general configuration. So I'm here in my account. I'm going to go all the way to the top right here to select from this drop down. I'm going to go to settings. Uh, it's right here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll all the way to the left until I find code planning and automation, which is this one. I'm going to select code spaces, which is right here and uh, code spaces has all kinds of different things. Now I have enabled this thing that I really like. It's called automatically install dot files. So what is that? Well, I have a special repository called dot files. And if your repository is called something else, this uh, dot file, um, this dot file uh, repository has all of my configuration for all of my command line tools. And like say, for example, git and uh, actually, why, why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at what Alfredo Lesa dot files is. So if I say dot files, and I'm going to go to this repository. So you'll see that these, these are all just configurations that I have in my home directory. So uh, my C shell, um, my C shell, uh, yeah, which is the shell, my preference, uh, my, my preferred shell, rather, you can see here, I have uh, certain things for C shell for for Python, I have uh, certain mappings that I really like, the history, uh, all kinds of different things really. Uh, you can uh, see here that I have a special configuration for Vim, for Git. Let's take a look at Git, uh, some of my special configuration there for Git. And what you're trying to do here with the configuration in Codespaces is that Codespaces can automatically install all of your dot files and make them available and pre-configure your environment for you. Uh, so whenever I'm creating, I'm creating uh, a new code space. So say, for example, if I go here, uh, you can see, remember, I was uh, looking at the commands and the secret tokens. Well, all of this is how I have, um, I have my, my shell configuration. So if I go to the home directory, I can say, for example, uh, take a look at the C, uh, C shell RC, and you can see these are all my special configurations. I can even have Azure service principle stuff that I really use. So all that uh, is automatically installed for me, including, including uh, this uh, special character that I use for my terminal. So something that is a special that you want to may want to use. Um, and lastly, uh, th there's all kinds of different things. I encourage you to go through some of these options. Uh, you can have, um, you know, system-wide code spaces secrets. If you're always using for every single code space, you can add them here as well. Uh, GPG uh, uh, verification, if you have some keys, uh, you can set your preferences for Visual Studio Code on the web or Visual Studio Code uh, local. I have it for web and that's the default. Uh, the timeouts, we already discussed them. And, um, and, and, and then, you know, you can set that, that retention period to less if you want to. And the region, uh, we are setting it automatically, but you know how to set that manually as well. But you have, you have the ability here to configure how you, your personal account with code spaces can be configured, but specifically, uh, dot files, I think is great. And uh, if you have those dot files in a GitHub repository, this is how you would set them up with code spaces.